Hey hey, Terhi here again. Uh, today I'm playing with Hipke Club June Kids and the theme is about using colors. But before starting about talking about this scrapbook process, I would like to introduce you to our new family member. This dog is called Helmi and she will live in our family for the next six months. Her owner is going to abroad and couldn't take her with her. So we have a moose big sister in the house and it's really nice to have two dogs here. And of course I <laughs> needed to do some kind of welcoming scrapbook layout for this lovely dog. Um, the theme of today is using colors and the colors goes perfectly with the dog personality because she is quite quite like a queen or something. She has opinions about everything and and this uh, scrapbook layout will will present her perfectly. Uh, I started with adding some uh, really thin coat of clear gesso to the background just to make sure the um, cardstock won't suck all the colors I'm adding. And then I added some mist and water drops and mist and water drops many many times and uh, kind of uh, carefully because I didn't want to cover the whole piece with, with the mist and also because I'm using pink mist and yellow mist if I'm adding them on top of each other I will have some kind of orange layout and that's something I didn't want to have. So I let it air dry for a while because I wanted to receive these nice nice patterns which are going to um, which I will receive when I get it some kind of natural dry. Uh, then I also made a paste out of uh, May Hip Kit uh, Color Kit uh, texture paste and added some of the same pink mists to the paste and received this nice, really light, light pink paste. And I used this stencil, which, we, which was uh, exclusive. For Hip Kit Club. I think Kim Watson designed it because it's so perfect and Kim always does perfect products. So then I took a lot, a lot, a lot of papers and made a really heavy paper cluster. Um, I didn't want to go too smooth with this layout because the background is so colored so I didn't want to have a kind of calm paper clustering because it, didn't, it wouldn't match. So I have many many layers uh, on the layout right now and I will add even more. Um, I like the picture because the dog is black <laughs> so so it's really easy to add uh, lots of different colors around it even though it's not black and white picture. Uh, we had a lot of uh, these nice epameras, exclusive epameras in uh, June kits and I wanted to use these flowers to this layout to embellishment uh, to embellish the layout because uh, Helm is a girl <laughs> and girls like flowers, right? Uh, I also wanted to add quite a lot of text. This layout is actually a lot of everything. <laughs> so uh, I added some epamera text, this friendship word, and then I added these um, little stickers and uh, on top of everything I will add th this happy thoughts uh, title. Um, I usually don't use this much of different fonts and different kind of text in the same layout but this was exception because it, it really... well I had my inspiration and what I let it come <laughs> so, so that's why this layout is full of text and I wanted to some kind of um, added to welcome darling text because I want to remember about this uh, waiting and new new stage of life uh, thing when I see this layout in my albums. 
About albums, I got a question if I would do some kind of album flip through video and it's in pro progress <laughs> because I need to put my layouts to album and then I can do some kind of flip through, uh, flip through video so if you wait for a while, week or two or month or two, I will do that but, but you need to wait for a while. Uh, I wanted to also add this be happy text which is nice and give some contrast because it has this uh, almost black text and also the picture is black so I needed this something more black to this layout and be happy is really something I hope this dog will be when she lives with us for a while. Uh, I added some mist traps and then I thought I want to add even something more for this title and this glossy accent blue will do the trick. It will give some uh, texture and dimension for the um, title and I actually thought about some kind of crackle clue but I didn't have any so I decided to go with glossy one. And that was it. It has many stage stages or phrases or whatever the word is during the process but I really like the results it's full of everything and it's really heavy but but it's also bright and happy and I'm happy now <laughs> so thank you for watching and next week we'll, we'll we will see some much much more lighter lighter layouts so Thanks for watching this. We'll see you soon again. Bye!